Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, it has been all morning waiting on this fish. What have we got? What's up guys and welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Texas. We are back from Costa Rica and we are back to filming here in the States. This is our first video back and what we're gonna try to do today is a little catch and cook. Corey is out riding horses today with her girlfriends and uh, I'm gonna try to catch us something to cook. I'm hoping for a sheep's head, black drum, redfish, something like that. Um, live shrimping it today guys, beautiful, beautiful day. It's still a little bit of breezy. Uh, out of the east northeast, but the weather is starting to clear up as you can tell. I'm in a short sleeve shirt, uh, it's in the 60s today. So, uh, let's see what happens. It doesn't get any easier than this, this is more relaxing than fishing. Guys, I've been here for about an hour. Not even a nibble, haven't even lost a shrimp. The tide's moving, it's coming in. This is usually a given too. This spot is usually guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna bounce around a little bit and see if I can find a fish to take home. This is a lot tougher than I anticipated. I expect this to be a very easy day. Um, let's make a little move and see what we can do. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, it has been all morning waiting on this fish. What have we got? Guys, it has literally been an hour and a half without a single bite. And I was sitting there trying to come up with a clever way to finish this video out without catching anything legal. And it looks like we may have just caught a legal redfish. Oh, <laughs> you talk about luck. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this fish. Now if we just don't lose him. <laughs> oh, I didn't think we were gonna catch anything all day. Finally, finally we catch one. God, it's been a slow morning. Let's go measure this fish real quick. All right guys, we finally got one. We may have the fish we need for our catch and cook. We've had a tough morning, 20 inches in the state of Texas. I think we got her. If we don't lose her overboard, come back. All right, guys, nose touched, tail over. Oh, we are legal, y'all. We have got a catch and cook fish. There we go guys, we finally got one. We can do our catch and cook today. Oh, we're gonna put her on ice and see if we can catch a few more. There we go guys, long morning, man. I was gonna make that move. I decided to stay put. Something just felt like they would start biting. The tide just started turning. Um, finally guys, finally. I've only had like two small bites. Um, a lot of boat traffic, a lot of guys moving around trying to find fish. It's slow for everybody, I think. We gotta keep a red in the box. So the catch and cook is set. We're gonna do redfish on the half shell. But let me see if we can catch one or two more while we're here. We still got some shrimp left, guys. Let's see what we can do. When you get that bite, you're free spooling. And right now, I've got somebody messing with it. And what I'll do is wait till he takes it. And when he takes it, I'll let that line go off my finger, let him swallow it, set the bail, and then it's game on. There he is. Let him have it. And now come tight. There we go. We got him. See how quick that worked? Let him have it, let him run with it. This is not a big fish. But then you let him take the line off the bale, and then you just close the bale, and they've swallowed it, and you've got him. It's another redfish, it's just a really small one. Oh, it's a really nice trout. Look at this. Yikes, look at this, guys. How freaking awesome is that?
beautiful little small trout. Look at this. Beautiful little small trout. We're going to let this guy go. Awesome. So guys, I have an interesting idea. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. Back when I was deckhanding on the Gambler in Pensacola, Florida, back in my younger days when I was a snapper boat deckhand, my lunches used to consist of microwave fish. I used to take the fish, clean it, a uh, little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper, throw it in the microwave for five minutes and then have basically poached fish for lunch. I'm debating on... I'm debating on doing that for Corey and not telling her. Taking the top loin to that redfish, season it up nice, and put it in the microwave before I give it to her. I think my screen is dirty. I'm not 100% sure if that we're gonna do yet, but I think that would be a really fun video to see her take on microwaved fish. It's very, very good. You guys have tried it, chime in down below. It's basically just poaching the fish. It's really good. It's not ruining it in any way. It is actually very tasty. Um, I need to think about that. That might be a really fun idea to catch her off guard and do a microwave redfish taste test without her knowing what we're gonna do, guys. Let's see what we can get into here. That's all I'm doing, like always with live shrimp. It's a little small one knot circle hook. Base to the tail, dead center to dead center. I've got a very, very small quarter ounce egg weight, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Very simple, very simple rig. I'm just throwing it down current and then freeze pulling like we just talked about. Wait till the fish hits, let him have it. Close the bell to engage the drag and then fight's on. Here we go, another bite. Come on. Man, it is all of a sudden just firing off. I didn't get a bite for hours. Here we go. Oh, this one ain't gonna let me free spool him. There we go. We got him. Up on the surface like a trout again. I'm not kidding you. This just automatically switched on. It got way warmer. The tide started going the right direction. And look at that. Another legal trout. Dude, that is killer. That's two nice trout back to back. I'm not killing trout guys. After that freeze, I'm gonna kind of let them grow back this year. Um, so I'm gonna not keep trout this year. Nothing against anyone that does, just a personal call. I'm, I'm not keeping them. Come on, give my hook back, mama. Now, obviously if one is gut hooked or killed or bleeding, that will be a different situation. Here we go guys, another nice little trout. This one's probably not legal, but sure feels good to catch one. What an awesome morning guys. I really, really thought when I first got here, this was gonna be a horrible day. Uh, I've still got more shrimp in the box. I could probably sit here and catch a few more. Caught a redfish, two trout really quick, missed a few fish. Um, but I wanna go home. I wanna film cleaning this fish for you guys. Actually getting quiet right now. I wanna get this fish cleaned up using that awesome Waltz knife. And then I want to figure out if I want to do something fun and test Corey with microwaved broiled or microwaved, which is basically poached redfish, or if I want to do a traditional recipe for, this is going to be interesting. Corey and I are on a, a paleo eating program. So we aren't eating dairy, we aren't eating salts, we aren't eating grains and wheats and a lot of stuff. So we're eating healthy, trying to get our bodies back where they used to be and get back to feeling good and healthy. We've cut out beer and booze and stuff. But uh, so this presentation of redfish looking poached would not surprise her because it's fitting our new eating program so this all is lining up perfectly for me to test microwaved redfish on her and see if she likes it number one and two figures out that i nuked it um i really feel good about this idea guys let's get everything wrapped up get the boat on the trailer let's get back to the house and clean that fish uh next time you see me i'll be in the driveway with my walt knife you all right guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean this fish up really quick. We're gonna use our really awesome Walt custom knife that Mr. Walt made for Corey. Get this thing skin up. I'm gonna put my chest can on so you guys can see what I'm doing while I'm cleaning it. And then we're gonna get this skin up. We're gonna pull the top loins out of this redfish. That's the lateral line north, the away from the belly section. We're gonna pull that section out and portion that out into beautiful small portions. And then we're gonna microwave this redfish. And we're not gonna tell Corey what we're doing. We're gonna give it to her as poached redfish see what she thinks guys so let's get the chesty on let's get the walt custom knives let's get this fish cleaned up all right y'all we have a beautiful 20 and a half inch texas redfish here our beautiful walt custom knife you guys saw this in the catch clean and cook with cameraman ron and uh, mark 
and Shannon from MDLR. It's a beautiful knife. Again, uh, link in the description below how to get a hold of Mr. Walt to get this handmade knife. Now we're going to put this thing to work on this redfish. As any fish guys, we're going to come in behind the gill. We're going to start tracing our fish out. Make sure the camera's here we all can see him. Just going to continue to trace this fish all the way down. Up. On small redfish, I'll usually cut through the backbones. Uh, the backbones aren't crazy. You can get through them pretty easy. Sorry for all the shaking. There we go. There's one piece of our beautiful redfish ready to rock and roll. Now let's get this other half real quick. Mr. Walt, thanks again for this amazing knife. This thing is beautiful. We have used it quite a bit and we have still not found a flaw. Guys, get down below. Y'all get over and check out Mr. Walt's Instagram. Look at some of the beautiful stuff he's creating. All handmade, all right here in Texas, in Texas City at Mr. Walt's house. Uh, he is doing some beautiful, beautiful stuff. And, uh, we really enjoy his knife. So there we go, we've got two fillets off. Now what we're gonna do when I talked about that loin, this part right here is the loin, away from the belly. This meat is perfect, it's fine. Everybody knows that, but I want you to take that loin for presentation reasons, and then I'm gonna portion that up. Just like this, y'all check this out. So I'm gonna come in here, separate it from the rib cage, splitting right down the lateral line. Now I've got that loin. So now I can take this loin, we're gonna eat that rib cage as well, and I can cut this into portions. And then I can cook it that way, and it'll make a pretty presentation. It looks a lot better on the plate um, when it's a loin, not just a big whole piece of red fish. We're trying to make this look pretty for Corey so that she doesn't know that we're pulling a little bit of a trick on her here. So again, I'm gonna come right down the middle, take that top loin away, make sure there's no bones in there. All right, so when I get in there, I'm gonna clean this little bit of red line up. I'm gonna dress that up just a little bit. I don't mind the redfish bloodline. It doesn't bother me as much as it does some. But there you have it, two clean redfish fillets, our belly meat. We're gonna go throw our carcasses away. And then we're gonna get ready for Corey to come home and uh, try out microwave redfish. All right, guys, like I said, I used to eat microwave fish all the time back in my decade of days in my 18, 19, my early 20s. Um, back then, you could clean the fish on the boat while you were out in the Gulf, so you didn't have to bring them back in whole condition back then. Rules were a little different, so if anyone's curious about me cleaning a fish on the boat at sea, rules were a lot different back then, guys, in the uh, early, early 90s. So anywho, the fish is cleaned up. You saw those beautiful loins we took off the top. We're gonna season those up, and there's a thing called coconut butter that Corey and I have been using a lot, and I'm gonna use this coconut butter and this paleo friendly seasoning to trick her into believing this fish has done something super healthy which it is healthy but it's cooked in a microwave that's what throws everybody off guys so let's get everything cleaned up we'll get the boat cleaned up and put away get all the camera gear ready and when Corey comes home from riding this afternoon i'm gonna whip her up a quick meal and you guys are gonna see firsthand what she thinks of microwave redfish all right guys yo all right guys, welcome to the kitchen. Corey is on her way home with the horses right now, and I've got six minutes to make this meal. Guys, it's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna show you the ingredients I'm gonna use. You've already seen our beautiful top loin off our redfish. I'm just gonna use one, and then I'm gonna make us another dinner with the remainder. But I'm gonna take this loin, I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna put my chest cam on here in a second so you guys can see everything. And then what I'm gonna do, I mentioned earlier we're on kind of a paleo diet. So no dairy, no wheat, no grains, no beans, uh, no beer. So we're just trying to get healthy, no other reason that. We just wanna get healthy, feel a little bit better about ourselves. Um, so we're eating cleaner. So this is gonna help me sell microwave redfish to her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a plate and I'm gonna microwave it for four minutes. At two minutes, I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna put raw coconut butter on it. I'm gonna put some of this raw coconut butter on there. Guys, this stuff is fantastic. Um, 
Sorry about the focus. It is wonderful. It's very good. It's got a sweet coconut flavor to it. It's oil. It's coconut oil, so it kind of helps cook the fish. Um, we cook everything in it now. We love coconut oil. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this seasoning to it. It's just a one and all seasoning. It's got paprika, salt, pepper, um, oregano, basil, cayenne. It's got all the stuff in it. But it's a paleo salt free uh, seasoning. So we're going to give this a try. And then I'm just gonna finish microwaving it. So two minutes, pull it out, put coconut butter on it, a little bit of seasoning, finish it for two more minutes, and then I'm gonna call Corey out of the barn. She's out there right now getting the horses ready, has no clue what we're fixing to do. So let's get the chest camo on and let's get rolling with this microwave redfish. All right guys, sorry to have to do this on Chesty. I know it'd be better if Corey was filming, but again, she doesn't know what we're doing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our redfish loin, it's cleaned up, we've cut the red meat out of it. We got a little bit of red meat left there. We got this thing all cleaned up and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it into half. I'm gonna put this on this plate and I'm gonna microwave that for two minutes. At the end of that two minutes, I'm gonna put coconut oil that I've already heated. I'm gonna take this out of the jar if I can open it, and I'm going to heat this up. It just it just melts down really quickly, and I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that on that, and a little bit of this seasoning, and we're going to see if she likes it, guys. So let's get this melted down and get this cooked. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna melt this down real quick. Get this coconut butter melting. And then we're gonna put this on our fish at two minutes. Remember, at the two minute mark, we're gonna put this melted down coconut butter onto our fish. All right, coconut butter is melting. Let's get this going. Two minutes, we're gonna stop it. All right, fish is going, coconut butter is melting. Two minutes, minute and a half from now, we're gonna pull it out, put the coconut butter on it, put the seasoning on it, finish it off for two minutes, and then go get Corey out of the barn. We are almost there at taste test time. Let's go have it. All right, there we go, two minutes. Check that out. It doesn't look bad. I'm telling you guys, this is good. All right, we're at two minutes. Let's get the coconut butter and let's get the seasoning on here and let's finish this thing off. It looks really good right now, guys. It looks just like I remember. All right, here's our coconut butter. We're just gonna drizzle this on. All right, a little bit of seasoning. All right, let's finish this off. Let's see what she thinks. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be entirely too cool. It smells so good. Coconut butter's on it, seasoning's on it. It's back in the microwave for two more minutes. I think it's probably gonna come out a little bit earlier. It was small pieces, so I think it's gonna finish probably in about 45 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Corey in and then present it to her plated so that she has no idea what I've done. And then we'll get her to taste test it, guys. So let's go get Corey right now. It's ready. I'm gonna go get her now. She's in the barn putting her horses up. I'm gonna go get Corey and bring her in and let her try this. It looks and smells amazing. <laughs> Dinner's ready, baby. What do you got going on in there? <laughs> I got you something special, come on. All right, guys, Corey's in here. We're gonna taste test now our special made redfish. So, baby, today I caught a redfish and I prepared him for you in a way, I bet you've never had it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Not like mullet stuffed redfish, right? No mullet. No mullet. No mullet at all. Okay. Go for it, give it a try. Let's see what you think. Um. Let me wash my hands real quick. I just got done messing with the horses. Good call. Sorry. All, All right. right. So this is paleo, right? Fully paleo, yes. Fully. And I discussed it with everybody what paleo is and that we're on a paleo diet. Okay. And this is 100% compliant with our diet. 
By the way, I love that shirt. Oh, thanks. I hope you have a really nice day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try your redfish out and see what you think. I'm very excited to see what you think of this. That redfish too? Both are redfish. Okay. Coconut butter, paleo seasoning. The trick is going to be how I cooked it. I can smell the coconut. It smells good. I smelled, smelled, smelled it when I uh, walked in. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what... Did you just use these two things? That's it. That's all that's on it. Coconut butter, paleo seasoning, and a neat cooking method. A neat cooking method? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. It's really good. It's really good? I want, um, I want to put it in one of those, um, coconut wraps with some lettuce. Yeah. That would be money. Well, we've got coconut really wraps, good. we've got lettuce, we'll make it to you. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to know the secret now? I don't know, do I? Yes. Okay, what'd you do? I microwaved it. You microwaved it? That's microwave fish. Why is there a burnt pan right here? Because it had coconut butter. I had to cook the coconut butter to pull over it. That was raw fish that I put in the microwave for three minutes. That is three minutes in the microwave to cook from raw. <laughs> I like it. I'm all about the fast cooking. I can, yep. Very good, Brad. Very good. <laughs> I like it. Y'all can microwave your fish. <laughs> Microwave fish, it's good, y'all. I'm telling you, all those years as a deckhand, they weren't wrong. That's hot as heck, I'm burn my face open. Hold this out, baby. It was really, really good, y'all. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry, I wasn't fishing with Brad again. I'm on my horse kick right now, so I was out riding my girl. And, uh, but yeah, thanks for cooking lunch for us. I'm gonna <laughs> need you to make a little bit more. I'm hungry. There you have it, guys. Microwave redfish. If you don't believe me, give it a try. Figure out yourself. The only thing I wish I would have done different, I don't like the coconut butter. I think just microwaving it with the seasoning would have been perfect. The coconut butter kind of stiffened up a little bit and gave it a weird chalky taste. Very, very good. If you never microwaved a fish, give it a shot. It's not that bad. Hope you liked the video. Remember to like, comment. That helps the channel grow. Push for 10,000 this year. Then again, guys. We'll see you out there. You. Saves dishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Came in dishes.